Hello guys. Today I just got my package from MMT3 Tuning, which has uh, sent me this very nice uh, fog light. They are. They came with um, uh, lamps as well. You get them in two colors, in this uh, white, and you get them in yellow. And they are made from uh, some kind of plastic, which feels very nice. Probably hard to see it on the film. The MMT3 guys don't just have these excellent full lights. They also have this excellent, which to me looks like the original um, electric window switches. Look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. Seems like it's uh, plug and play to the original one. And it feels very nice with a very nice click. Same on this, of course, because it's the same switch. Have some nice uh, tabs. I think you put them inside side like this, and I smacks in place with this one. And there you have it. Original looking switches for your electric window. That is amazing. <laughs> uh, check out the website. They have a lot of stuff for the T3 and the one I gone. So, uh, yeah. I will provide links for everything down below so you can check it out. But um, they also came with uh, H3 bulbs, which they claim to be 55 watts. Let me show you. These bulbs are extremely hot. And um, they are not 55 watts. It says on the label, but I have measured them to 75 watts. And 99% of this is heat. So I will change mine to uh, LED bulbs. These bulbs I got from a company in Norway called Biltema. You find it in Sweden and Denmark as well, I think. It's a really nice little H3 bulb. So let's see how that one performs compared to this uh, very hot H3 bulb. Okay, here we have the voltage, amperage, and the wattage, and the bulb is over here. So when I press OK, we can see here 70, almost 77 watt, which is extremely high. And this will be extremely hot. So I will not recommend this one, but oh, look at this smoke. Oh my god. <laughs> Burn mark on my bench. <laughs> oh my god, this one we cannot touch now. Let's get uh, rid of that one. And take a look at the LED lamp. This one is not as bright, of course. But, um, let's see. Okay, here we can see a much more healthy 1.8 watts and it will not be hot at all. So this is the lamp I will go for. Okay, that's enough about the lamp. Let's uh, open one up so we can see how it looks inside. The screws are to uh, Allen key. And so it's just quick to open. And then it should just be to... Okay. Ah, it's a gasket. Look at that. That is nice. Let's take this one out. So there we have the hole for the wiring. Very nicely done. And there is a gasket around it. Also it's nice. And a rubber grommet for the wiring. The bulb is uh, fixed by a uh, Phillips one screw. Okay, there we have it. The 55 watt lamps, which is 77 watt. And to the LED one. Be careful with the screw because it's not very much resistant. 
To make this one fit inside here, you have to remove the black wire at first. And then you can put the spade inside. Here we go. And here we have it. Nice and tight. It says uh, top on here, so remember, remember to put it the right way around. Then make sure everything is centered and look nice. Do not over tighten these screws either. You will feel the resistance and then you need to stop there. Then it looks like this. Mark the top. With LED bulbs, which is very hard to see here, but they are inside there. So now I have two of them with LED bulbs. So now Back to the car and let's see how they fit onto the car. I'm very anxious to see how the, the shape will fit into, yeah. You understand? We have to start by uh, removing the screws for the indicators. I have uh, anti-theft screws on mine, which is uh, Torx with a security bit. Easy. This was a very tight fit, so I have used a Dremel to file off some of the edge on this left side, and I will do the same on this one. Yes, these are uh, aftermarket indicators, so uh, maybe the original one will fit better, but on this one, it's too tight to make the chassis and the new fog light plastic fit between here. But uh, this looks better, let's give it a try. Okay, now I have uh, dry fitted everything, everything looks... Uh, Nice and uh, tight. So now I want to do the wiring and you can wire this as the low beam or high beam from this one. Or I will do it, take, remove these ones. I have these two that I don't really like that much. So I will take the wires from those and use it in this one. So now this one will be a driving light instead of this one. When it comes to this uh, terminal, we need a female spade and some rubber protection. This part is going to touch the car so it could short out against the metal. This one I just need to extend because this one is not needed in the terminal. So I will solder together this one. I like to use these uh, open barrel terminals together with these excellent pliers. And I usually start by putting the terminal inside the plier. See, there we have it. And then the cable in the terminal. It should look something like this when you're done. This one is important to rem remember. Luckily, I have the open end here. So, 
Here we have it. Then it should fit perfectly over here. Yes, it does. And then I slide this one over. So, it should be well protected. Maybe use a couple of rounds of tape on the other. Done to the soldering. Like this. This one I have already pre tinned. Yeah, will do. Then we need a small piece of heat shrink. And there we go. And we have one long black and one long white wire, which will be connected to the driving lights on my car. Okay, let's uh, find out which one is which here. This one. Yes, this one is the driving light bulb. And then this one is the indicator, so... Uh, this one is fucked, so let's remove this one. Let's turn off the light first. Now we can see it. These uh, red and yellow wires are for the driving light. The brown is always earth, Volkswagen. This green one is the indicator. I forgot my wireless microphone, so hopefully you will hear me. But no, let's test the lights. Looks amazingly good, eh? Fantastic. And I still, I still have my switch back. What do you think? Is this too much light? Should I keep the switch back? Well, I simply love them. <laughs> Look at it. Amazing. So, a big thanks to MMT for the sending with this. And I will say it's excellent. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.